Well, just obviously just want to um, address the elephant in the room. Uh, obviously, we, we know the results of, of Charlize's MRI and and I know you've seen the release and obviously we're, we're just devastated for her, for her dreams and things that were for, you know, hopes for our team and certainly hopes for her to get back to New Zealand. So um, just then now we have to regroup and I'm excited for our team. We had a, we've had a practice, um, you know, they've responded in a good way as far as it, it looks like emotionally and just trying to figure some things out. And, uh, you know, got a, had a great win. I, I've told people it was the, the the saddest, happy day of our life, probably, in that win over UCLA. But uh, now the challenge is really big and, and before us, and we're going we're gonna to try to regroup and, and, and be really good this weekend against two top teams in the country. Do you say Charlize is going to stay with the team or is she going to go back to New Zealand? No, no, she's with us. Um, you know, there's a little bit of a delay these days and before they have surgery. So uh, nothing's been set, just working on getting swelling out of her knee and and uh, just kind of the prehab uh, part of, of, of what needs to take place before surgery takes place. But she'll be here and finishing up school and, and helping the team in any way she can. You know, it obviously <laughs> is nowhere near the same as having her on the floor, but just to have her presence, I mean, it, it would feel like, does that kind of uplift the team a little bit? Just even having her around, even if she can't be on the floor, you know, actually playing? Yeah, I mean, what she sees on the court and and um, in scouts and, and how she verbalizes it and her voice in practice, um, she recognizes when people aren't doing something that we've said we want to do in, 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 in games, you know, in our scout. And so she points it out because she's right there in the middle of it. So again, having her as part of, of our team or now just her eyes is, is as important as, as her being, you know, she's got to be there. It's good for her. It's good for us. Well, I was going to ask uh, in the release that got sent out in regard to Charlie's injury, um, you know, you said she, she wouldn't be able to conclude her career at Washington state on the court. Has a return next season been ruled out? I'm going to leave that all on Charlize. You know, everybody has to make some decisions on their own. I think this is a unique position for her to be in. Uh, the timing of this injury, the length of, of uh, you know, recovery and, and where that puts her in, um, you know, professional or the next team that she could be on. So she's got to make some big decisions. And uh, I know she'll she'll go through all those things in her mind and, and figure those things out. and. Um, but I don't think that's that's been done yet, and I think she certainly has a lot to think about as far as her future goes. But the just the door is not closed. She could potentially come back for a, another season. She absolutely could come back for another season. Yeah. So it's it's more I think in her mind. I think it, it was already set. You know, I think players get in their in their heads that you know this is my last year and I'm I'm moving on and and that now. You don't think anything could change that. And and really the only thing that could potentially is probably the timing of an injury like this. So, again, big, big thoughts, big decisions have not spoken to her about that. Uh, clearly, she's just got to, you know, she's got to see her calendar and think think in terms of long term success, what she needs to do. And uh, you said on Sunday uh, you would hope to get AT back this week. Is she going to be able to play this weekend? Not positive. Um, she's been. She she got into a practice, uh, but not not full practice. Um, so it's just a matter of how she responds and if everything looks good. I mean, I expect her to get some minutes this weekend. I, I'm sure she'll be on a a minute count, if if anything, or or maybe just one of the games. I'm not sure, but certainly, or hope we're hopeful that she'll be back for one for both, but at least one game this weekend. And if she is on that minute count, uh, who do you kind of uh, anticipate entering the starting lineup? Yeah, I'm not positive of that. I, I don't know that I would know that. I feel confident in any number of, of directions I could go. Jenna's been great. Um, you know, we've got to play a little different, so I don't know what I would do. Hey, Jamie, Travis Green from Crimp 2 News here in Spokane. Um, we all know how much Charlize has meant to the program. Um, in the turnaround here and you know how I guess how much the human element here does it hurt 
to see Charlize go down here in what would be potentially her last season with you guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think that's that's the thing. Um, the human element, um, you know, um, just someone that that I mean, we've had a ledger walker on the floor at some, you know, during the season for five years now. And, uh, you know, we knew the day would come where we wouldn't. And you just didn't think it was going to happen now. Um, but I think we know Charlize and we know her dreams and we we know what she was wanting to do with her career and and wanting to do for this team. And and um, I think, again, knowing that she was about to leave to try to get New Zealand into the Olympics on on Saturday, um, just even even connects more to the human element that, you know, she lost out on. She's losing out on the rest of our you know, season here. And that's a huge loss for someone that's so committed and disciplined and, and invested. And then also when you add that element, you know, you, there, there are so few college players on Olympic teams and she has the chance to do that for New Zealand, um, you know, and was going to be counted on to be one of their key players. I think that is a, a, you know, again, devastating on the human level and on a, you know, to the person that, you know, and uh, believe in and and you know what she wants in life and what she wanted there so it's just devastating devastating for a lot of a lot of things and a lot of people and certainly for our program but gosh just for her and and what her hopes and dreams were and are you know it's not over she's just gonna have to get New Zealand to the next Olympics right and Kimmy you touched on that a little bit um with the players and kind of regrouping um what's the locker room like right now after this again um you know we've only had one practice just you know needed to take a little extra time off this week had some travel travel problems getting back so um but had a practice and just couldn't have been happier with that practice um um you know we we have to move on and we have to understand um we can't replace Charlize, the kind of player she was, but we we can. Everybody's going to have to do a little bit more. There's going to be a few more shots out there for people, more opportunities for some people. Um, you know, I think we can play big, bigger than we have played. You know, and um, I think there's you know going to be opportunities for everyone on our team. So they seem to respond great. I think the biggest message that we have to give our team and tell our team is. Um, don't be a victim. We are not victims of anything. Uh, this is just an opportunity for everyone to step up and into a bigger role than they've ever had in our program. So do that for one another, do that for Charlize, do that for our program and do it for yourself. So I think that's the biggest message and, and they've responded in a, in a really positive way. Thank you, Cammie. I appreciate it. Michelle, I've got you next with your hand up. Um, go ahead. Hi, Cammie. Hi, um, Joe. In addition to Charlize's scoring and her leadership, what else does she do for you that you have to backfill for now? Well, again, I think the the IQ part, you know, she's really a great defender. Um, I mean, it was a tale of probably one of her worst games of her career here against USC. Uh, and then the first half of the UCLA, I think you actually saw, I think, what Charlize was going to be the rest of the year. I mean, she was as good as she's ever been and better. Um, but but overall, I mean, she's an amazing defender. She's amazing with a scout. She is amazing at being able, the versatility of being able to switch if we needed to one through five. She could do it. Uh, she gets people in the right uh, places on the floor. I don't even know who will speak in huddles now. I mean, that was something, a question I asked our team. I, I don't know that, you know, without Charlize on the floor. I mean, I, AT getting back on the floor will help us in that department, but uh, just her leadership, her steadiness, her, you know, never too high, never too low. So she, she always had a level head. Uh, and kept us in a really good spot. And um, I think you just lose that kind of leadership and and ultimately toughness. Like she just was resilient and tough and and uh, wouldn't let other people 
you know, wouldn't let other people get inconsistent with what we needed to do. So I just want, you've spoken about, you know, Colorado and being one of, one of the strongest teams in the PAC 12. What are you specifically looking at this weekend? And, you know, with, with Charlie being out, how are you preparing to face the buffs? Yeah. Good, good question. You know, we can't change who we are. We still, we can't run new offense. We can't do anything. It's just going to be different. People are getting those shots. We've got a, uh, I think this, the worry was just a little lacking a little guard play and, and getting AT back, I think will solidify that. Getting a, another ball handler back on the court will help us. Um, and again, I, I, I think there's some things that we can do to, uh, you know, there's more minutes out there for team people. So that's the point is there's going to be minutes out there for Alex. There's going to be more minutes out for Jess, who might can come in in different spots on the floor. We've got to get first, whether that's, you know, whoever's stepping into that lineup, but also Bella and B and, and uh, L.A.'s got to continue to play at a high level. So I just think it's just, you know, an opportunity for people to really step into, you know, a bigger role. And, and don't be afraid of that. I I trust our offense. I think we've been getting really good looks. We don't now we don't have that person that can just, you know, blow up offense and and help, uh, you know, like save the day as much. You know, Charlie's could just go get the ball and, you know, at the end of a clock and go create a shot. So maybe lose that. But but we've just got to trust what we do and and take the shots that our offense is producing. Um, One player I'm really, uh, you know, going to count on and, and trust that that she'll show up and be playing at a high level is is Bella. I think she's very committed to being what we need her to be. I thought she had a phenomenal game against UCLA and, um, you know, she's been great at practice. So I think she's going to step into a, a, a bigger role and a bigger leadership position. And um, regarding Bella, you know, we saw her start the UCLA and play the whole whole game really well. And she's been phenomenal the whole season. You spoke to her, her leadership role and all that. But what what do you need from her? Um, and I guess what has she been doing right that you will continue to rely on um, in throughout the rest of the season? Well, I mean, I think consistency is is what's the hardest thing for you know players to become. Um and she's a very good player, a great player. She's one of the best players that have ever played here. Um, she's been inconsistent at times. Um, she had a, not a good game against USC, and she heard about it. <laughs> you know, the, the film session wasn't pleasant for her in particular. None of us. I mean, no one had a good game. But um, she took that, you know, she, she has, you know, she took that. And she got herself ready for UCLA. And she was as focused as I've ever seen her. She was, for a 40-minute period, she was as locked in as I've ever seen her. Um, And since we've gotten back, you know, she's had to deal with, you know, her friend and teammate and and co-senior go down. And now she realizes, I mean, she can do one of two things. She can play the victim and act like it's all over, and or she can step up and can lead the team in the way that she can. And I uh, really believe that we're going to, we're going to get that Bella. I think we're going to get the Bella that's going to step up and lead this team. And she, that means she's going to be playing at a more consistent level the rest of the season. <clears throat> then um, last, well, during the Pac-12 tournament, um, you spoke to how Luma Togo played a, a key role to defending Utah and uh, Alisa Pile. Um, how, how do you plan to, to approach Utah this weekend and, as who are you looking to step up in that that key defensive role? You know, again, I think that they're they're different than they have been. You know, I they had a devastating loss when when they lost Neepkins uh, early earlier in the season. Um, they still have three point shooters, so they can really hurt you. Peely is just lighting it up from three this year. So not only is she just you know a matchup problem inside, she's also in their pick and roll game a matchup problem because you know. They pick and pop her, and you can't be late on her at all. So they it seems like they're doing that a little bit more than they did a year ago. Um, so real hard hard to say how you match up. There's going to be times when we have to switch, and a guard will be on her. That doesn't bode well for a guard that has to guard her on the low post. But 
again, the way they can spread the floor and the, the stuff that they run, it's really good stuff and it's hard to guard. So we've got, to, you know, that's the second game, Utah. Yeah. And we've got to, we've got to deal with them when we get that chance. And they're, it's very difficult when you only have one day to prepare for them. Um, and just like, you know, we've talked earlier, Colorado is a whole another issue. One of the most physical teams I think you play, uh, confident teams, got a obviously a big, strong body and Von Lay. I mean, they just bring different weapons and big weapons all over the floor. So very two different teams in their style of play, but but again, two top teams in 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 hard matchups for us. But but again, we've got nine healthy bodies and and I feel like all nine of them can play at a high level and 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 they're gonna have an opportunity to get in there and mix it up with Peely and mix it up with Von Lay and try to stop Sherrod and I mean the the problems exist there's no question but we're excited about the opportunity to play these two tough teams